Welcome back. Cowboy County. We're we're here. We're always here. We're always here in Cowboy County. It's the best place ever. I never want to leave Cowboy County. I never want to get off my scooter. Lobster cop, you're fucking weird. Why don't you leave Cowboy County? Yo, what's up, dude? Alright. Let's talk to this guy. Whoops. That's... Oh. Did a nosedive there. Sherman. Wow, look at you. Huh? Your jumper, your vacant smile, those piercing eyes. Are you a model? <laughs> I certainly am not. Maybe it's time to start modeling. Maybe. Or maybe it's time to solve a mystery. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Actually, I don't know what you mean. I'm a detective. Ah. Is there a problem? I don't want any trouble. I'm an outlaw, you see. My name is Sherman. Authority and I don't always see eye to eye. I have no authority at all. You have the authority to steal my heart. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> ha. What? Because of your good looks. It's just a little joke. Not about your looks. You look great. It was like you could, like, steal my heart because you're so dashing. Haha, <laughs> you're too kind. Anyway, how can I help you, detective? I'm here about the missing hats. The missing hearts? You've stolen them. Sorry, just joking. Maybe not the time for my killer sense of humor. The hats, right. Mine was stolen. Do you have any leads? Who done it? That's what I'm here to figure out. Did you see anything suspicious over the last couple of days? I looked in a mirror. Haha. <laughs> I'm suspicious looking because I'm an outlaw. Oh, haha. -ha. Hmm. Well, honestly, I'm a bit confused about how this new sheriff came into the picture. My fellow outlaw, Rhonda Dynamite, was working up the courage to ask to be the new sheriff. Clearly, she didn't get the courage in time because this new guy, Mason Mole, wandered in like he owns the place. You don't like him? Oh, don't get me wrong. He's okay. I just don't know why he wants to be the sheriff. Cowboy County has always been a lawless land. That's the way we like it. Everybody respects and understands each other here, so I thought it would be better if the sheriff was one of us. Not saying he'll do a bad job or anything, but I just hope he keeps the county as kind as it ever was. Have you spoken to him much? He's barely said two words the whole time he's been here. I assume he's shy, so I'll give him a little time, uh, give him time to settle in. But I don't know. It can be strange when someone new comes into your community. I really want to be as welcoming as possible, but I have a few concerns. Do you mind if I ask you some questions about the case? Why are you suspicious? So suspicious of Mason Mole. It's not like me to be suspicious, really. You know me. I do not. <laughs> not yet. Sherman winks. Anyway, I just don't really understand his motives. Why is he here? Hmm. I'm not sure. Obviously, I want to trust Lobster Cop's judgment. Uh, that's a mistake. But this new guy is so quiet and shady. Do you even know what job he did before this? I have no idea. Do you know? Nope. Figures. Any reason you're hanging out by the mines? Well, yeah. I heard there's gold in there. Wow. I really like gold. I don't mean to sound insensitive, but I want to ask. Is it a thing for sloths to like gold? Why do you ask? My friend Martin is a sloth and also loves gold. He made a crown out of it. Sounds heavy. Yeah. 
Well, I haven't really thought about it before, but yes, I think sloths do like gold. But then again, who doesn't? I find it doesn't suit my complexion. I think I think anything would suit your complexion. But anyway, I've been trying to get into the mine, but it's all blocked up. Dang. Have you tried exploding it with dynamite? What? No, that sounds really dangerous. I was thinking more along the lines of a pickaxe. Oh, that would probably be better, yeah. Do you have one? I can trade you for uh, a shovel. I'll think about it. You have item, pickaxe. You mentioned you wanted a pickaxe, right? Sure did. I have one here if you'd be willing to trade for the shovel. Ooh, I'd love that, thanks. I could also trade for a nice dinner. Just you and I? Uh, I'll take the shovel for now. <laughs> Offer's open. <laughs> Maybe after I've solved the case. Okay. <laughs> Got a shovel. <laughs> Damn, Sherman. Why are you so thirsty? Sherman. Motive. I don't know. I found it difficult to pay attention. Those eyes. Needs a pickaxe to break into the mine. Notes. Sherman, you make me blush. So funny. So cool. No, I refuse to be charmed. This is a suspect. I hope he didn't do it. Well, good seeing you, Sherman. Okay, uh, I don't remember anyone specifically needing a shovel, but uh, let's see here. So I already used the gloves. Oh, I need to get carrots, but wait a minute. Um... I need to give the writing set to the mouse person, right? Let's see. Write a resume. Oh, I'm guessing I'm going to give the stew to uh, Lobster Cop. Susie needs a fake ID. Um, I don't know who needs this shovel, but uh, let's see here. Do you mind if I question you about the case I'm working on? You have item writing supplies. I have some writing supplies right here. Oh, how did you get those so quickly? I helped to compose a beautiful poem. Sounds boring. Thanks for getting those writing supplies for me. I appreciate it. If there's anything I can do for you, let me know. I have a bunch of skills. I wish I had a bunch of skills. We can't all be Rhonda Dynamite. Do you mind if I... Uh, I guess... Oh, right. Fake ID for Susie. You mentioned you can forge identification, right? I sure can. I was wondering if you could help me out. Sure, anything for my friend the detective. Amazing. I need to get a fake ID made for Susie. Can you help? Can do. do you, did you want to know what it's for? Nope, I'm not interested in other people's business. I'll get that ready for you in a jiffy. I'm sorry. Is that the noise of a, a receipt printer? All right, all done. Anything else I can help you with? I think I'm good for now. Thanks so much. No worries, partner. Got a fake ID. Cool, now we can drink at the saloon. Uh, okay. Uh. I'm still, where am I gonna get carrots for? Oh, well, I did make the, the joke about the carrots in the... I did make the joke about the carrots being in the vault, but 
I don't know. What are these lines? Do they mean anything at all? No. It doesn't correlate to anything that we've done. I'm pretty sure you've got a collection of hats back there, you... Mole. All right. There's nothing else I'm just like outright missing here. Not that this uh, game series usually has a super complex and convoluted mystery, so I probably should just go with the flow, but. Okay, well, I think then we should talk to Susie next instead. We'll do that next time. See you guys then.